Hey, we're here at the Laguna Seca in the Arca car. Uh, I was excited for this one. Um, this one should be pretty interesting. Um, I think it's, uh, it's pretty difficult, but uh, I really like this track and I like the Arca car. Not sure how I feel about them put together. It's kind of like, you know, I like ice cream and I like uh, pizza, but uh, I wouldn't want ice cream on my pizza necessarily. You know what I mean? <laughs> But, uh, hey, maybe it'll be good, right? Don't knock until you try it. Let me just barely make the pit exit corner. <laughs> and uh, we're doing some qualifying. So, um, I was about 7th uh, in practice. I'm the number 7 car here today. But, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish? I, I, I honestly have no idea where I'm going to finish, to be honest with you. Um, Got to keep it on the track, first and foremost. And uh, that's challenging on its own. And uh, we've got some guys in here that are very fast. Um, some names you would recognize <laughs> kind of fast. So, like I believe... Uh, I think Nick Ottinger is in here, for example. And uh, believe it or not, we're not going to beat him. <laughs> Unless he gets torpedoed in lap one by the guy that starts behind him or something. But uh, otherwise, he's going to be gone in a flash. So um, I think we just got to run our race. Keep it on the track. Easier said than done. <laughs> and uh, you know, hopefully not get taken out as well. But we'll see what happens. I think I'll just try to have some fun with it, because, like I said, I like this track, I like this car. Let's see how the combo goes. Thought about not qualifying, but uh, it's real easy to get stuck behind guys. Ooh, got loose. A little too much on throttle. Um, it's real easy to get stuck behind guys. You know, and in practice there were guys that were breaking about a hundred feet sooner than they should have been. And uh, I don't want to really be stuck behind that <laughs> if I can avoid it. I don't know if any of those guys are going to be in this race necessarily, probably be in lower splits, but I don't know. I think the having the position, the having the track position will be important. So we'll just be careful. I don't feel particularly strong. Uh, I feel very inconsistent. Um, I'm glad I got the practice done that I did. Because uh, this is definitely one I don't think you want to go into blindly unless you're already an expert. <laughs> Maybe this will be a halfway decent lap. Overdrew that one a little bit. Okay. Almost got my left sides off there. That would have been not good. Got loose there yet again. Okay, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing there. It's not working out for me all that well. Don't think my time was very good. I shifted up there and I don't normally do it, so that just threw me off. Way to self sabotage. You can throw it in there much faster, but I'm not brave enough. that up. Didn't go off track though at least, but uh, kind of ruined the lap. That's what I'm saying, I'm just real inconsistent. And uh, in the race, I'm going to need to focus on that. So I think my best run comes from me uh, being more careful. Uh, 
rear tires lost grip at the end there. And that lost us some time, but uh, 31 3, 2 31. Eh. Second lap was worse. Probably would have been better if I didn't mess up that last corner, but um, am I the slowest guy in here? Not quite. Assuming they're uh, not putting in their better lap right now. But, uh, that's fine. Like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to keep my... Uh, I think I'm going to finish lower than 7th. I don't think that it's predicting me very accurately. Because I've been building that up through like Formula V and Mazda. I've been building up my road eye rating. And uh, that's something that feels pretty different from to this. I mean, as you might imagine. So, don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that up. But we could get some free spots too. So long as we aren't the free spot. And uh, have just just have some fun driving the corkscrew. And uh, during the race, I'm not gonna be mashing the throttle as hard. Try to keep the. Uh, the rears from getting too hot because I think that'll serve us well in the long run. Because you can't race uh, every lap like it's the qualifying lap. That's not going to do you very good. Eventually you're going <laughs> to regret it. So, And uh, I mean that's not all too different from any other ARCA race. Or oval race or whatever. Um, mess that up. Uh oh, don't get an X in practice, especially when I'm not doing it or in qualifying. Especially since I'm just practicing is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I mean, I always want to take care of your tires. This is no exception. Shouldn't be too much longer. You get extra time on road courses because obviously the laps are much longer. Could use this time to get that extra practice. I got my uh, <laughs> driving line on to help with uh, help remember my braking zones because I'm a dirty cheater. <laughs> but uh, whatever, sue me. It's obviously not going to be helping me too much when I'm driving too wide with someone anyway. Other than a aforementioned braking zone reminder. That's the end of the session. The if anything, it's going to be making me slower. But uh, we got 11th, so about halfway in the field, a little past halfway. 127. Good lord. 127.4, man, that's just nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Not too surprised though. He's crazy fast. So, we'll keep our uh, expectations realistic and just do what we can not to plow into someone. Unfortunately, we've got to do a full pace lap. We're not starting on, you know, halfway through the lap or something. We get to do a nice tour of Laguna Seca before we actually go out there. So, we'll have our uh, fast repair ready just in case we need it. Hopefully not, but you never know. I wonder if we're going to be stuck on the hairpin, the final corner. Whenever we get started, I wonder if we're going to be that far back. Hopefully not, but very possible. Waiting for everyone to join on in. Get a drink of water before we go.
Do, do, do. Copy that. Appreciate that, Sean. Car number ten in the left lane. Yeah, no problem. Well, there'd be contact on the pace lap. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a third race I've been chasing your uh, your tail pipes, and I don't think I'm ever going to catch it. But you could use it to improve. Oh, for sure. I'm just going to leave well. lots of space <laughs> during the pace lap because I don't think there would be anything more embarrassing than accidentally tapping someone <laughs> while pacing. It might be one of my favorite tracks to drive on a pocket. I got my uh, steering ratio at 8 to 1. Help catch those slides. And man, I just I really felt like I needed all the turn in I could get. So that's where I settled on, and I took a tiny bit of brake bias back. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I think it was like 1 or 2%. And uh, that's where I left it. Just had my uh, 30 minutes of practice ahead of time. Just kind of felt, uh, felt best to me. Probably just gonna let this uh, let this go single file through the corkscrew. Leave all the room I can get. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's catch on up. Good luck, y'all. Have fun. Okay, Jared, you ready? Okay, All right, that's about as good as we could hope for. Off the start. Taking it real easy. Right side. Still there. Hug this inside, keep it as close as I can. Keep to the left. Got it right. Uh oh. Track blocker. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We're good. <laughs> Alright. Thankfully, there was a hole there. Haven't even been doing my gearing right, but uh, ooh, that guy braked earlier than I thought. But I had to get, uh, I had other things on my mind before I had to worry about my gearing. <laughs> okay, we're still alive for now. survived lap one. Hey, that's an achievement on its own, right? Someone in my rear view, keeping an eye on them, but uh, trying to keep my uh, the bulk of my focus up front. A little late on the turn in there. That's fine. I 
might be a little hard on the throttle, but uh, man, there's just so many things to remember at this moment. <laughs> This guy's real slow through here. The leader's just uh, 127.4. Okay. I'd like to try to find a way around this guy, but it's not too big of a deal at the moment. Too hard, I mean. I feel like I got to turn in a little bit better that time. And then took that a little braver. <laughs> Screw. He's way wide. Gained a lot of time on there. Oh man, we hit that bump. That was scary. That could have easily pushed us in a bad direction. Probably should have used on the throttle there. I'm gonna regret that later when my tires start spinning. Oops, that guy's going in pretty hard. You can have it. Not fighting that hard. He's probably faster anyway, being the one car. Dang it, there's a 1x. I was uh, in a different spot than I was used to. I ended up driving it weird. bunch of time but uh, we're not dead <laughs> yeah I just uh, I cut it a little too close and kind of hit that uh, little curb thing and uh, that sent me in the wrong direction kind of like I said the curb almost did before apparently I didn't learn my lesson got a nice gap behind though so uh oh that looks like a man uh oh. I heard, I heard other things happening, and I thought that we were gonna have more cars sideways, and then I saw Collins and Panic for half a second. Fine though. Just uh, try to hit some good lap times. That's all I can really do. Top 10 would be great. I think that's a solid goal for me. I meant to mention that at the start if I didn't. That uh, I think top 10 is probably where I want. I'm saying I probably don't think I'm going to get 7th. And I don't really know what to expect. But uh, top 10 I think would be perfectly fine. So 
given that I made that mistake. I think end of top 10, you know, just the very top, barely making the top 10, I think uh, that's pretty good right now. Tire's spinning a little bit. Got even more room behind us now. Guys could easily make mistakes in front of us too, so we'll keep ourselves in contention by trying to be consistent. Ooh, pitched it a little too much. Oh, we're in ninth. I guess someone wrecked at some point. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Guys can make some mistakes and we could find ourselves moving forward. Nick Ottinger's probably finished the race already. He's <laughs> about to lap us. I bet. <laughs> I kid, but only a little bit. And that was a little bit early on the shift there. Glad that didn't hurt me. Got guys in the pits. I assume taking uh, fast repairs. Or had to tow. I didn't have anyone to my inside because I saw some guys leaving the pits. Wasn't sure where they were going to be. Now I'll get loose on exit. Putting a lot of wheel into it there, so I gotta watch out for that. Same with right there. Gotta watch out. Overdrove that a little bit, but not too bad. That's a guy missing the corkscrew, and I'm the guy passing the guy who missed the corkscrew. Hey, hey. that's a spot. Until I become that guy. Who is the guy that is at the beach in the sand? So does that put us in seventh? No? Oh, we were in ninth, right? I don't know. I can't pay attention to that right now. I got driving to do, man. Oh man, my pedals just slipped out from under me a little bit. Let's not do that. That was scary. I'm thinking about moving my brake bias back. That might be crazy. I think I might want to do that. Ooh, that's a spot. Oh, he's going to be fast, though, and he's probably going to catch up to me. <laughs> He's a good distance back. I think we're fine. Reminder to myself, quit looking at the relative. Look at the track. I don't really get any time to breathe here. It's the life of a road course. <sighs> Call me crazy. I'm moving this back about 2%. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. E7. Move it a tad. 
said. Ooh, almost turned in too much there. That was just overall not very well executed. I don't blame myself on that one. Don't slide the tires. Reminder, don't slide the tires. Got the don't slide the tire corners right over there. Generally a good idea to not do that at any point though. Yeah, get through there. You got a flight car on the left. It's a spotter left car. Or nobody. <laughs> Can't check. I need crew chief. Tell me what's happening out there. I think that lap car went off. I think that's what happened. I don't like the fact that you're here. Oh my god. Why are you right in the way? That slowed us down a little bit. Gonna be a little weirded out for the next corner too. Okay, we're past him though. Right now we're in seventh. It's hot in this room. I wish I could turn the air conditioning on or something right now. Because I'm just sweating so hard, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time with those tires. I gotta keep my wheels straighter. It's because I'm not used to driving this 8 to 1. I'm usually 16 to 1 everywhere. That's not a short track or a road course. Mess that up. Lost my rhythm a little bit. So we got the 10 car head. He's only two and a half seconds up. take a wider entry. Might have to try that next time. Don't slide the tires, thank you. Don't slide the tires, Junior, thank you. corners. Didn't do it that great that time either, but a little better than I had before, I think. Almost cut that a little bit too much, but we're fine. up to this guy. Easy on the throttle, don't spin the tires. Focus. Focus, focus. Slide the tires. Oh, kind of slid the tires on entry there. It's kind of weird. Should 
trying to catch this guy, but we're pretty close on pace. Took that a little wider than I wanted. That could have been bad. Turn 11? Which one's that? Turn 11? Expect me to know, like, oh yeah, that's turn 11. That's turn 11B. Like, what? <laughs> Incident turn 11. They say they spun out. <laughs> they spun out ahead of you. Look out. <laughs> I speak that language. Oh, hey, we're in sixth. When did that happen? Overdrove it. No. Oh, that's not how you do that. I was just getting the run off. Trust me. That was the plan. What, you think I can't take the high line on a road course? Okay. Only a couple laps to go. coming up on a bad part of the track. Oh, thank goodness. We approach the corkscrew much faster than he does. Get this spot. I took wider than I have been, but that made me spin on exit, so. <laughs> so much for that. chase we got going on. Oh, don't hit that. What are you doing? He's definitely better in certain sections. I think I have him on others. One flag. One more left to <laughs> of course the leader's getting the white flag. That's how fast he is. Ooh, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Wow, that just snapped on me. Darn you, corkscrew foiled again. I'm lucky I didn't get stuck on that wall. Whew. All right, well. <laughs> Remember that saying of the race, it could have been worse. That could have gone worse. <laughs> well, let's not wreck this lap. Feeling the fatigue, that's what I'm going to blame it on. Just ease it around because obviously we're not catching that guy anymore. But I gave him my best shot. So now I guess we just, uh, you know, maybe see if anyone uh, makes mistakes up there. Otherwise, we'll get a sixth. And yeah, that is great. Did not expect to beat my uh, predicted spot in seventh, so if we can pull this off, very happy with that. If 
my wheel's trying to come off my desk. Six I'm yanking it so much. Let's not do that same thing again out of the corkscrew. Ease it on into the race to the line. All right. It was a workout, <laughs> but uh, we've made it to P6. All right. Not quite the top five, but better than I thought. So we'll pull it over here. Whew, take a breath, man. About to pass out. <laughs> Started 11th, got 6th, so pretty happy with that. Nick Ottinger won. Big surprise, but 40 good seconds. Race, good race, 11. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, he's fast. So we'll see what happened out there. Sands of the driving line. What's going on? So it's lap one. Three just gets into the back of the one. That stinks. A couple of guys that are uh, really fast. They still beat me, I think. Three didn't. Three must have had more trouble. But the one still came around and beat me. I think I remember now. He came in real quick. Whoa, holy cow. What was a 17 doing? Was he uh, damaged? Was he broken? He has... Well, well, if he's broken, why didn't he go in the pits? I'm not sure about that one. So he's just going like two miles an hour on the straightaway. <laughs> and I'm guessing the three couldn't see him. Well, you can see him. Kind of rotten that he's... Oh, I see. So it looks like he's moving to the outside. Right there. Because he's not hanging along there. So 17 just... Grannying it down the middle of the line. That's kind of infuriating. I feel bad for the 3. 3 could have avoided it, maybe, but, I mean... 17 doesn't need to be there. That's just dangerous. So... That stings. Hate to see that. Oops, hit the wrong button. And that was a massive wreck. Seventeen got launched. Ford tries to get a lot out of the little kink there before the corkscrew and spins it. And then, yep, he just put it in the pits. Corkscrew gets a guy. Holiday Inn sends it to the tires. Packs his bags, sends it to the tires. Doing some off roading with a corkscrew. I assume he just missed his braking point. Oof. Number nine's already got some dents, and then he gets those tires and the, and the bad stuff. Sends him around. He was in fourth, so that was one of our free spots. And we avoided any mistakes that were quite as bad as this, thankfully. So, uh, yeah, here's one of ours, I think. Yeah, lap 14. Yeah, we just got got by the corkscrew. I mean, uh, not much else to say about that, I guess. Uh, yeah, it just snapped. I'm looking at my inputs, and they're not even... I mean, I guess I was on it a little hard. Probably just turn the wheel a little bit hard, I guess. But uh, car just gets so light through there, and uh, I just I couldn't save it once it was pitched that far over. What I was able to do, thankfully, is apply enough brake not to lock it up, but also keep it rolling, and so I could get it turned just that little bit to keep me from uh, stopping on the wall. Get that tiny bit of turn, and that allows me to keep going straight. And I think that might have saved us a spot or two from like having to back up so made it so we couldn't catch 
the guy had anymore, but, uh, yeah, could have been worse. That's what I'm going to go ahead and title the video, I think. Could have been worse. Because sixth place, hey, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. We were never going to get first, that's for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome stuff. I was, that was pretty fun. Difficult, but it was fun. And I'm happy with that. Turns out that uh, ice cream does go on pizza. Oh, maybe I should name the title that. Ice cream on pizza. I don't know. Anyway, see ya. <laughs>